being the first Monday of the month, we're joined as usual by Oliver Cheshire, Town Centre Manager from Douglas Borough Council, to give him his full name and title. Afternoon, Ollie. Good afternoon. How are you doing? You keeping all right? I'm good. I'm keeping warm. It's a bit chilly out there <laughs> today, is. isn't it? it yeah, is. you've got you've got your fleece on, so uh, you're all right, aren't you? Need it today. <laughs> you certainly do. Now we've got some big news here on the program because in the next couple of minutes we will be revealing the customer service champion for 2018. I believe Ollie. Uh, voting closed on Facebook this morning? It did, 10 o'clock this morning, so we've had uh, quite a few votes. Uh, yeah, it went really well. Yeah, good stuff. A uh, good response to this once again. Really good, yes, yeah. Similar to last year, so really pleased with it. OK, well, we have the winner to announce in just a couple of moments, but first of all, let's just look ahead to a little later in the year, Ollie, and carnival entries are open. That's it, all open now. So if you want to download an application form, you can go to the website uh, www.douglascarnival.im or if it's easier, just give me a call 696-304. Any questions you've got about the carnival, any ideas you've got, give me a call and um, and we'll get you sorted. Yeah, and just a reminder of that date again when um, it's happening. It's Sunday the 15th of July and it seems a while off, but it'll soon come round. So. Well, it certainly will. It does every year, doesn't it? How That's many it. years has it been back in operation now? I think this is the fifth year yeah, now. Something it's been like back. that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So and it's going from strength to strength. Yeah, so, definitely. Um, Fingers crossed for the weather as well. And there's uh, some good news because the Steam Packet have confirmed they'll be sponsoring the they event. They have, yeah, yeah. So we've uh, we've worked with them every year since the carnival's been been back in play. And uh, yep, they've uh, come on board again with us this year. So Excellent. we'll be good. Good stuff. So looking forward to that then in the middle of July, and then a month after that, the 12th of August. It's uh, well the big one really, isn't it? The Tower of Refuge walk. Definitely, it's always a good one. This. Um, um, literally, people always expect it in the springtime, but we've had so few tides to choose from this year. Uh, the, the main ones we could go for was Easter Sunday, ironically Carnival Day, um, or the 12th of August, which we've gone for. So You'd have a packed promenade if you did it on Carnival Day. So to leave, yeah, leave it a few weeks Definitely. is a good idea. And it'll be school summer holidays as well, and, and fingers crossed, nice warm weather. So Yeah, and you've got um, some sponsorship for that event as well? Yes, Tower Insurance are going to sponsor that one again. Because uh, it's their 90th anniversary, they've got a few <clears throat> extra things planned for it. So we'll make more of an afternoon of it instead of just the evening. So it should be a good one. Yeah, so lots to look out for then. That's the 12th of August. And uh, in Douglas, a lot of regeneration work going on at the moment around Marina Road, Castle Street, that kind of area. But you do want to reiterate that businesses, shops around there open as usual. 100%. All the shops down that end are open for business as usual. And um, the regeneration work is coming along nicely. And it'll be great when it's done so but yeah all shops are open down that end yeah so. don't be misled that's the definitely the, the not thing. yeah <laughs> definitely so let's move on to the big news then the customer service champion 2018 just tell us first of all a little bit about the competition it's been something you've been running on social media that's it so literally we we've got eight nominees um you could go onto the douglas town center management facebook page and it was just a case of liking the picture of the person that you wanted to vote for and it's the second year you've been doing this second and year. yeah the winner once again we can reveal now Ollie is Mr David Castro from Boots and there we go <laughs> I think we can definitely give him one of those uh, even more so because he's with us now in the studio David good afternoon and congratulations thank you very much and good afternoon all great news second year running you must be absolutely thrilled this is this is this is more special than last year it was really n nice and unique last year however to win it again to retain the title and also, you know, the, the likes from all the customers and the people that know of me. Just thank you to them. And of course, thank you to all the staff at Boots as well for sticking with me and persevering and laughing and joking and everything. So, yeah, it's really nice. It really is nice. And last year when you won this award for the first time, you went on and actually had a bit of success off the island. Well, yes, I um, got uh, from the back of this uh, customer service in Douglas. I got nominated for um, the regional um, Northwest um, customer care for boots and actually won that and then actually went to uh, celebrate the parties and the finals and everything of such so yeah yes and then to win this again it just seems like a knock-on effect well, there we go and who yeah. knows where this might lead you to this time never know the, very true very is, true so we've got to ask you then david what is the secret to your success do you have a sort of rule that you live by when you're there working in boots just always um, acknowledge the customer smile um, have a bubbly personality. I've always been that way anyway, so it just seems second nature to me to be that way inclined. Interact with the customers 
always and just give them what they want, always give that 100%. I'm sure the other nominees have done that themselves, but uh, however... I just thought, look all je ne sais quoi. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, you're well known to mm. some people as a bit of a performer because yes. you do sing yes. a bit of acting yeah. as well. So That's it, yeah. Does it kind of come quite naturally then, the It whole does, thing? to be honest with you. It does seem, honestly, like second nature. The two go hand in hand as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. And uh, Ollie, uh, there were some people very close to David. There's a second and third place in this as well. That's it. So we had Natalie from Marks and Spencer. She came second. And then Chloe from Manx Telecom came third. So it was all it was all quite close this year, and and some great great nominees and yeah. good fun. The the thing is, obviously, you're up against the internet with shopping. So by giving that extra customer service, and obviously, what Dave does, it gives someone that extra reason to come in and have that mm. interaction mm. with someone. Definitely, so it's true. great for sort of highlighting the profile of all the shops and businesses. Massively, true. that's it. Definitely, yeah, yeah, good stuff. Will you do it again next year? Is that the plan? I, I think so. Yeah, definitely. It's proved quite successful, and it's got people talking about. Customer, customer service and Douglas, so yeah, it's definitely people worth it. Into the shops, isn't it? And yeah. uh, sort of supporting local. So, David Castro from Boots, the winner again this year of the Customer Service Champion Award. Many congratulations and, and good luck with where this might lead you as yes, well. Yes, thank you very much.